guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to discuss everything that happened yesterday and Rochelle spoken out today and I just want to talk about it a little bit. So Rochelle from the Saturdays is now creating a documentary trying to discover and investigate why black women are four times more likely to die during or after childbirth than our white counterparts and it's a great documentary. I cannot wait to see it because it's something that I want to know. This affects me. I want to know. Um, so what happened yesterday was that Candice, a woman, a black woman, came out and said that there was a separate documentary that she was supposed to be doing on the matter, but it was basically taken away from her. So then the conversation started to be had that should Rochelle be doing it? Should Leanne from Little Mix be doing her documentary? Like what's going on? So I'm just going to talk about everything, but it's going to be a lot of different things. But before I get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for new content. I really appreciate it, guys. And also click that notification bell. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen Candice's response to what happened yesterday. And there's just some really key things that I really want to speak about. So I don't really like the fact that the producer of the documentary that she was supposed to be a part of said that she was never in the running to do it because they prefer subjects that are removed from the situation so the element of discovery about an issue is a genuine one. You see, that doesn't make sense. That whole sentence to me has just scattered my whole head. I don't know who's going to be producing the documentary that Candice was supposed to be a part of, but that clearly lets us know it's not gonna be a black woman because why would someone that is not in the community be more genuine about the topic than somebody that's in the community? Make that make sense. So whoever's doing that documentary, if I was y'all to take my name off of it right now, I don't know who it is, but if I was y'all to take my name off of it right now, because it's not making sense. Why would you use someone that's outside of the community for a documentary that's about people in the community for people in the community? Does that, the thing is not making sense to me. It's really, really not making sense. And for you to say it's gonna be more genuine. The things I care about often relate to me. Of course, I care about a lot more issues, guys. You know I do. But anything to do with the community, I'm involved in. I want to be involved in because that affects me. That personally affects me and will affect the people that come after me. Affects my loved ones. Of course, I have friends from all over. But I care largely about what affects me. So why would Candice, a woman like this, already affects, that is already a mum, why would... Why would she be any less genuine? Like, guys, make it make sense. And for you guys to disrespect her and say, can I use your expertise, but basically not you? Of course not. Hell no. No, you cannot. What are you talking about? You're actually making no sense. Because why would she let you guys paint whatever narrative and not have creative control of her story? That's the thing about the industry, about media. They like to take people with them story and not give them credibility for it. That is disgusting. And I think it's messed up that they will use this type of documentary about black people to inadvertently disrespect us at the same time like it's it's it's, it's getting insane guys it's getting insane producer you, you know you're gonna get found out when that documentary drops and people are gonna get onto you how dare you be speaking this type of nonsense yeah it don't make sense so also from this statement candy said that her agent reached out to the producers of the documentary that rochelle will be doing and said can they co-present but that was declined. Now, the question, it comes, should Rochelle be doing this documentary? Now, from the outset, I didn't mind. I didn't even think, mm, she's mixed race. Like, I know she's mixed race, but it didn't come up. It wasn't relevant to me at the time. But now when I'm looking at it and just seeing bits of colorism here and there, I don't like it. So loads of conversations were being had over social media. And so Rochelle actually came out today and she basically said that she understands what's everything that's going on and she appreciates that other people have contributed to this cause and that she just wants to use her platform to get the message across and that we should all be, we're all a part of the same community in terms of like, we all have the same goal and basically we need to just hear these people's stories. Now, I hear that, I respect that, I receive that and this is no shade to sis, to Rochelle, but I feel like I'm sick and tired of media and this is that's the thing it's not even anybody's fault it's really media's fault i'm sick and tired of media using mixed race people as a buffer between white people and black people i'm really sick of it because at this point you it's difficult for you to make a documentary about us for us and use somebody that's not us 
I do understand that Rochelle is a part of the community, but she's not used as that. She's used as a buffer. She's used as a pawn. So she's appealable to the white people and still appealable to the black people. But I don't want things to get misconstrued. For example, if in a company they have, um, if in a company of four people and they have a mixed race woman and they're like, oh yeah, one fourth of our company is, uh, is black. No, it's not. I, I, and I hate to say it, but no, it's not because I don't look at Rochelle and see me. And I'm sure she doesn't look at me and see her. And that's fine. That's not a problem. But even like the term BAME, people want to stop using it because BAME covers everybody that's other, that's non-white. But sometimes there could be places where there's loads of black people and such few Asian people and they don't feel that they're really being represented. And that's fine. I get it. It's a numbers thing. And that's how I feel. That's how a lot of many people feel when they try to use people as a buffer. That You don't represent me. You don't. I want to see me on the screen when it comes to especially things that have to do with us. Like, it, I, I, so of course, from her statement, clearly she's not stepping down, which is fine. And I feel like the documentary will still be really, really meaningful regardless. So I don't think it's really an issue. It just poses the question oftentimes that why are people, why are mixed race people being used as a bridge up between two different people I just I don't like it I don't like it especially when it's for us or about us it should be made by us like it's difficult it's 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 it's, it's extremely annoying guys you don't understand like and for me as a black woman I feel like I have the right to feel how I feel and can't no one take that away from me I'm not even going to argue with anybody about this because representation is so important it happens in media all across so not even just this Rochelle situation it happens all across oftentimes you see with like oftentimes you see the black woman portrayed as the angry one the aggressive one that's not all we are but when media portrays it or like or when they show like they put people on like on the front cover and they'd be like this is the first no it's not this person is not black stop doing that and i, I don't want people to tell me that i'm being sensitive or unless you walk in my shoes that's when you're going to know how where i'm coming from i'm not going to minimize somebody else's issue when i'm not when i don't have the same issue as them i will empathize listen and just try to be understanding and do my bit to help people but why sometimes is that not the case for us and this just reminds me of do you remember that song i cannot remember the two women that sing it but it's called peng black girls i think it's called and it's literally like remember the the, the i think she's she might be mixed race i don't know she dropped it, she got so many views on her video. Then the black girl drops it and she doesn't get that many. It's those types of things. That is the understanding of things. And a lot of people, it maybe go over their head, maybe you don't understand. But someone that it affects, it affects us, it affects me. Those type of things I catch it. I have to catch it because that's my day to day life. And a lot of people, I did see this online that Rochelle said in an interview that she's not teaching her kids or introducing her kids or, t or telling her kids about racism. You see, I don't have that choice. That I don't have that choice. I don't have that choice because that oftentimes, especially me being in the corporate world, not that I do face it at work because you guys, Lord knows, I don't. I really, definitely, categorically do not. But it's times I get nuances at, at not at work, but like in different types of workspaces. So not my current workplace, but in other spaces, I've got nuances. I've got aggressions. I've got different types of things that I have to bear in mind and just the other thing i want to touch on is leanne so leanne is making a documentary about her life but the common theme that keeps on being discussed is that she's going to be talking about colorism i think if that's not true she needs to change the narrative again i'm just going to say colorism affects darker skinned people then it does oh negatively affects darker skinned people then lighter skinned people or fairer skinned people that's just the top and bottom of it i'm not going to lie i'm not prepared to argue about that that's my story and i'm sticking to it period um so if it's gonna be i feel like it's gonna be about racism because she's the only mixed race person in a group of white people so i think that's what the documentary is going to be about but if i just keep on hearing the term colorism and i'm, I'm, and I'm thinking what's she gonna say not that she don't have a right to her own story because she does what she's experienced is what she's experienced but i'm curious to think what is the angle going to be i think it's just going to be more so about her life in general and the negativity she's got from being in Little Mix, but I don't think it's gonna be strictly about great colorism. I could be wrong, but I would be surprised if it is. I just wish and hope that these publications and stuff like that that are contributing to this issue because from them 
letting us know they're going to do this documentary that's now causing problem in our community that's a you know I mean? that's that's what that's inadvertently done so i just hope that we are able to get documentaries made about us that are for us that are including us that are about us that are produced by us like everything us based i don't want people to be used as a buffer between the two because you're not getting to the meat and potatoes of what's going on like bbc if you're also going to be doing a documentary can we please have people that are involved in the issue doing the issue this is not that difficult it happens so often it is annoying guys it's extremely annoying and i appreciate people like Murad coming out because i agree with him he said something at the end of his video and he said that people from outside of the community like him saying stuff can get people from within his own community to understand what we're talking about and that is what we just need to all be learning be empathetic and the more we speak about it hopefully changes will be made hopefully changes will be made hopefully uh, candice gets another opportunity to make a documentary that's for her about her that's just you know things are just going to connect with connect things that are going to be touched on that a lot of us can relate to i just hope that's the case um again i don't i don't have no problem with um rochelle or leanne i'm sure their documentaries are both going to be great it's just annoying that oftentimes people like me don't get opportunities because of what we look like and then you know what i mean always at the bottom of the food chain it's it's really boring and that's why i will continue to always try to be the best nicole i can be so i can allow or i can i can help people that look like me come after me so other people that come after me are going to be like i can look at nicole she did it i can do it she looks just like me she got braids that are like i need that i want that and people don't understand how important representation is until you don't have it because it was hard for me to see me get to where i'm going to now because i didn't see people that look like me so i'm like if i know people that want to do it that look like me but they're not in the same space so how am i going to get it what makes me so special when i'm sure they're great too but they haven't made it we need more representation guys we just we just do we just do we, we really just do but Thank you guys for watching this video. Please continue to like, comment and subscribe. I really appreciate it guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.